Shalom. Our verse for the day is Hosea chapter 6 verse 4. What am I to do with you, Ephraim? What am I to do with you, Judah? This love of yours is like a morning cloud, like the dew that quickly disappears. Hosea chapter 6 presents us with an insincere conversion of the people of God after they sinned. Whenever they sinned, God punished, men, God punished them. In their affliction, they remember God and sought His intervention. They knew quite well that their suffering was the handwork of God who was punishing them. In their decision to go back, they always say, He will heal us, He will bind our wounds, He will revive us and raise us up. They even went further to say to themselves, As certain as the dawn is His coming. He will come to us like the rain, like spring rain that waters the earth. See verse 3. Despite this confidence of the people, God knows the heart of all men. He knows that they are not sincere with the repentance. So he says, What am I to do with you, Ephraim? What am I to do with you, Judah? This love of yours is like a morning cloud, like the dew that quickly disappears. How often do we play pranks on God? We have so too, too many sweet words of repentance, but are insincere in what we say. Jesus says, These people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. See Matthew 15 verse 8. Why do you worship God? Is it because you are afraid of hell? Is it because you want to get to heaven? Do you worship God because you want to avoid punishment and obtain some rewards? Why can't you worship God because He is God and is worthy of worship? If you, wash, if you worship God because He is God and not because of the benefits that come with it, your love for God is not like the morning cloud and not like the dew that quickly disappears. If you worship God for benefits, you will abandon Him when those benefits are not obtained. Once again, why do you worship God? Why are you sorry for your sins? Can you still worship God and be remorseful of your ways even when your situation gets worse? Will you still love God in the midst of difficulties? Let us pray. Lord, I want to love you always because you deserve my love, not because I have something to gain. Although there are many benefits that come with it, may my love be just because you are God. Amen.